this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a fake sunset using Photoshop. Hey what's up guys Dhruval here and before I start the video I'm going to use this image and this C image from deviantart.com. So if you want to use any of these images the download link is in description so feel free to use it. Now onto the manipulation so this is my model image and you can go to file and open any image you want. Now I'm going to double click here and unlock the background. So first of all we need to cut her from the background so I'm going to use my quick selection tool and just make a selection around her like that. And while you make the selection, make sure that you do not include this white part of the dress because it is uh, not properly cropped and it won't look really good while we composite it and it's also become a pain in the ass I say. So just ignore that part and just take the red part and it will also add up really nicely so you do not need to worry about that. And once this type of selection is ready, uh, the quick selection will not work on this portion. So once you make this amount of selection uh, in the uh, model, uh, go and select your magnetic lasso tool and in the magnetic lasso make sure it's a second option. So now uh, for the leftover area start clicking here and make a selection something like this. And it, in the hair it doesn't have to be extremely accurate, it just have to be average. So that seems fine and now make a selection. So this way we just cut her uh, from the background and once this is ready uh, uh, click here on this mask icon so it will cut her from the background. Done. Now go back to your C image and grab your move tool from here and move it directly here and drop it here and put it under the lady so we can see it in the background. Now we need to make the composition proper so select your model layer and press Ctrl T. And I'm gonna make it slightly uh, smaller so that it fits better in the background. So that looks really beautiful. And then now select your crop tool uh, from here and then make it slightly bigger like this uh, so that we can see the sky even better. So that looks really nice to me and hit enter. And I might also make it uh, make her slightly bigger. You need to keep adjusting this type of stuff like it won't get ready in just once. So just keep on adjusting it until you get it completely right uh, as per you want. So this is ready. Now if you zoom in you can see like her hair looks really horrible. And to fix that uh, select her layer and select the mask then right click and select on refine mask. Now uh, as you can see it's on white background so you can go here and revel layer or whatever you want. So I'm just gonna keep it on a white so that we can pro uh, see it properly and then uh, I'm gonna make a selection around her head like this. So as you can see it is cutting out hair pretty good and uh, just keep doing it until you get it right. So that looks uh, really good and a bit there. Good. Now hit OK. But if you see closely you can see like the hair doesn't look very good. So here's what you have to do. Hold down your ultra key and click on this mask so it will show you the actual mask. Then select your brush tool and make sure it's black color. Right click and make sure hardness is around like 20% not very much. And then uh, just simply erase this part uh, like this and you will be good to go. So just erase it like this and that's great. So just take your time, these things can be pretty lengthy sometimes but this is the key part. If you get this one proper, uh, everything else will turn out uh, like really good and all the work will pay off. So just take your time and you don't need to do this in every image. If your image is shot properly on a really good background, like this won't be required. So I would suggest uh, shooting in front of grey background or white background if you want to follow this step. So this looks pretty good to me. Now to go on normal mode just again hold your ultra key and click on the mask. So we are good to go. So as you can see it looks much much better now and you can anytime like adjust it like this and it will work out beautifully. Now after the basic setup is ready we need to adjust the color of the background because it's ridiculously saturated. So go to your adjustment layer and select hue and saturation. And into the hue and saturation uh, make sure you selected masters and then uh, decrease the saturation a bit maybe 20% and then lightness it's on your personal choice however you want. 
and then I'm gonna adjust the hue even a little bit so that seems fine it's total random uh, you like if you change the image the numbers will change totally and now again go back and select your levels in the levels I need to adjust the blue color so I'm gonna go to the blues and then I'm gonna add up a bit of colors from here and then change my mid tones from here so it will make it look uh, even better and slightly darkish so that seems nice to me and that is actually pretty good so if I turn this both on and off you can see that enormous diff difference 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 that's called difference so that looks really good so since the background is ready uh, we need to adjust the model layer now so select a model layer go to adjustment layer and select brightness and contrast and now click on this little icon here so now whenever you change anything it will only affect the model and not the background uh, so that is really handy and then uh, you need to like decrease your brightness like to totally uh, let's say 140 that's enough then select your mask and press ctrl i so temporary everything is hidden so now all you have to do is just uh, select your brush tool and start painting with black color in the middle area uh, like this and right click and let me make it 0% hard and then uh, start painting in the middle portion like this it might look slightly horrible right now but uh, once you get it done it will look really good so basically I'm trying to make her darker and the uh, like border of her body and skin brighter because the sun is going to be here like this uh, let me show you the original file this is where the sun is going to be so we need to make her look like that to match the lighting so I'm just gonna paint on the inner parts like this so since the background like the inside is dark we need to make the outside brighter so again create a new adjustment layer and select brightness contrast and this time uh, let's first make it a uh, clipping mask and then this time increase the brightness uh, like this so that looks uh, really good and then uh, select your mask press ctrl i and then uh, start painting on the outside area with white color so it will make it even brighter and that looks beautiful and that's it so let's let me paint a little bit here and there too actually this is the part where you have to do all the hard work then it's just simple color correction so make sure you do it properly and if I turn it on and off you can see that beautiful difference you can also adjust the contrast like this so I can add a bit of contrast here and then go in here and then add a bit of a contrast so that it looks even better so that seems kind of fine to me and if I turn it on and off you can see that difference so now it really seems that the Sun can fit in on this area so now it's time to add the Sun so create a new blank layer and then fill in the black color so I'm just gonna get my paint bucket here and then fill in the black color now we need to add the sun so go to filter render and go to lens flares and then I'm gonna select this one you can select anyone that you like but I like this one always more so you can put it uh, in center or anywhere so I'm just gonna put it here like that hit ok and then change your blending mode to the screen so you can uh, adjust your sun anyhow you want so I'm just gonna put it here like that and you can even make it brighter just go to your image adjustment brightness contrast and then make it brighter like this so that also helps a lot so let me make it a slightly brighter okay that's beautiful hit ok now you need to change the color of it so go to image adjustment and go to hue saturation and here first of all select the colorize and then increase the saturation a bit and then change the hue until it looks uh, something like you want so that seems kind of fine to me hit ok and then uh, we need to uh, enlarge the lighting so create another blank layer and select your brush tool make sure it is the first really soft one like we used all the time and then uh, select any orangish color uh, you can pick it up from here and then let's select this one like this then make it really bigger uh, like that and then just make a click and then change the blending mode to the screen so if I turn it on and off you can see that beautiful difference and you can always make it bigger by pressing ctrl T so let me make it slightly bigger and then adjust it somewhere here so that looks really nice and hit enter to confirm 
So now it's time to adjust the color of the overall image. So select this layer and then on top of everything select your photo filter from here and then uh, make sure you select the second one and then increase the density until it matches. So I think 45, 46 looks fine and if you turn it on and off you can see that really good difference it makes. So that is really nice. After that we need to create a vignetting so go and create a new gradient like this and in the gradient instead of this orange color let's make it black one and hit ok and make sure you have selected foreground to transparent and then you will have this type of gradient hit ok and instead of linear make it radial and let's reverse it so it's on the outside and increase the scale to a bit ok that seems uh, really fine hit ok and change the blending mode to the soft light. So if I turn it on enough, you can see that beautiful difference. Then create another adjustment layer and select a solid color. And in the solid create a dark color. Like it should be really close to the black but not the black one. Okay. So that seems fine. Hit OK and then change the blending mode to the exclusion. So if I turn it on enough, you can see the difference. Now go back and make it even more, less darker. So it blends better hit ok and if you can as you can see like it looks really nice now then create another adjustment layer and this time select the vibrance and make it like 100% but that seems way too much so let's keep it to uh, let's say 60 60 seems really nice so vibrance is important so that you can have those vibrant colors so that looks beautiful and I can increase it a little bit more uh, I guess 70 also looks really nice and then create final adjustment layer and select levels sorry curves uh, my mistake select curves and increase this slider a little bit from here not way too much just a slight and then go to your blues and add a bunch of blues now uh, let's just go back into the levels and adjust this thing a bit into the blues so uh, let me adjust it okay so let me add a bit of yellow, not that too much. So if you slide it this way, it will make it yellow and slide it this way, it will make it blue. So we need more yellow. So that seems actually really nice. So as you can see, it makes a lot of difference. So this is the final output and if you have any question regarding to this video, feel free to ask me in the comments. And if you really did learn something, hit that like button. It helps my video a lot. Now, if you want to learn how to create this type of effect in an urban background, click the box on the right. Or if you want to learn how to turn a day photo into a night photograph, click the box on the left. And if you want to get an update every time I upload a new video, you can hit that subscribe button. Plus, you can go to my channel and check out more than 50 free Photoshop tutorials. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.